Yes. What kind of deal? Danny and I are working. The car. The men just took it. The police? I don't know. They wore no uniform. They just drove the car away. Maria Mia, you will pack bags for you and the little one. You will go to New York. Now, tonight. It is perhaps dangerous that you should remain here. I want to stay with you, Daddy. Hurry, Mia. Wash the face. Wash it good. Then you can go on the train to New York, eh? You'll come too, Daddy? Yes, Mia. Tomorrow. Bartolo Mio, why be afraid? The pamphlet, the papers, everything for the meeting tonight was in the car. Oh, my poor Bartolo Mio. For myself, I do not mind. But if they arrest me, what would happen to you and the little one? Sometimes I wish you could be like other men, working only for yourself, for me, for the baby. It is for him that I work, Maria, for his future. <laughs> of this commonwealth against Bartolomeo Romagna, murder in the first degree. Yes, sir. I got the license number as the car drove away. We found the car abandoned up on Macy's Hill. The revolver and the empty pouch were in the front seat. The back of the car was filled with radical pamphlets. There is no question but what the paymaster was killed by a bullet fired from this gun. He worked at the factory for two years. He would know exactly what time the paymaster come on. He owes me $40 for printing. All for pamphlets. He couldn't have done it. He was home with me. Daddy didn't kill the man. But tell me, Romagna, stand up. Have you anything to say why the sentence of death should not be passed upon you? In all my life, I have never stole. And I have never killed. I am an innocent man. Everyone who knows me knows this. And you, Mr. Judge, you know this too. You will send me to my death and should be sorry for me. But really, it is me who is sorry for you. In the dark night, I will be before you. And you will know you have done wrong. You will be afraid. But me, I am not afraid. It is not me who goes to death, Mr. Judge. It is you. A living, walking death. With my face and my voice following you everywhere. And I'm sorry for you. There's only one thing left for this court to do. It is not a matter of discretion. It is a matter of the law, that is, to pronounce sentence. Therefore, it is considered and ordered by the court that you, Bartolomeo Romagna, suffer the punishment of death by a current of electricity through your body within the week, beginning on Sunday, the 20th of November, in this year of our Lord, 1920. They've done it. 
You saw the meal. You saw the murder of your father. of this university to give to the graduating class each year some noteworthy case to analyze. From the evidence, from the attendant circumstances, and with the perspective that comes with time. This year you will consider the case of Bartolomeo Romagna, who 16 years ago died in the electric chair. For the murder of a paymaster he was accused of robbing. <laughs> His own lawyer did nothing for him. There wasn't one witness who could actually identify him as participating in the whole thing. There wasn't a shred of direct evidence against him. All right. Yes, sir, I'll tell him. Yes? I'm from the Daily Globe. Oh, Dean Liggett is talking to the press now. You may go right in. Thanks. 184 candidates for the bar, every one of them agreed that there was no cause for Romania's conviction beyond mob hysteria. This is the first time that such a unanimously dissenting opinion has been presented by such a body. Beyond that, they discovered some new evidence. Shortly after the murder, the police arrested on information a boy named Garth Esdras, who was suspected of being implicated in the holdup in which the murder occurred. If this was so, his testimony would either have cleared Romania or once and for all have convicted him. But his testimony was never given, for the simple reason that he was never called upon to testify. Downstairs. He should be any minute. you'll learn things ain't so funny. Okay, Chief. Anything you say. Any of the boys from headquarters have been around looking for me? You know, Chief, prison ain't agreed with you. You're developing into a warrior. They got nothing on you. They got what they might have. It's not a year this time, no. Not ten. It's screwed down under the lid. I can die quick enough without help. Oh, what are you talking about? You're the skinny kind that lives forever. Yeah? Give me a half a year, the doctor at the jail. Six months I get. And the rest, dirt. Six feet. No kidding on the level. Well, that's tough, Chief. I'm, I'm sorry. But before that happens, a lot of these healthy boys will know what it's like when you try to breathe and have no place to put air. They'll learn it from me. Call them in, let's get going. What's the hurry? I got work to do. 
some college professor with nothing better to do started yapping about the Romagna case again. Oh, that. You've got nothing to worry about. That's what I'm going to find out. If Garth Hester has talked. Use your brains. Why should he talk? He's in it too, ain't he? He can't talk. It's only dead men that can't talk. It might be safer if Garth would. Yeah. Sometimes I think you won't be happy until you bumped off everybody you ever knew. That ain't a bad idea. Nobody cares about Romania anymore. He had no friends, no family. There was a son. Sure. Off somewhere hoping nobody will ever find him. You don't suppose he wants it known his old man was burned for murder, do you? Just the same. I'd like to know what he is. What brought you east? I heard something. Same old business? Yeah. There's a college professor turned up some new evidence. I couldn't find anything he'd written out there, so I beat it east. I found this Professor Liggett's report. I think he has something. Sorry, boys, the soup's all gone. Madam, your story's an old one. We've heard it before. Yeah, soup's been gone in Seattle, in Los Angeles, in Tacoma, in Detroit. In fact, it'd be hard to mention a city at which, at one time or another, soup hadn't been all gone. Well, that's it. Yeah. Where now? To look for a man on an empty stomach. Who? Garth Estes. Let's go. It's the steam, I guess. It splits the hair on your head. Can't you mend it? I can't mend it. No doubt there are fellows somewhere who'd mend it for a dollar. I'm glad to do it. That is, if I had a dollar. Got a dollar? No, I thought not. Garth, what did that lawyer mean that wrote to you? What lawyer? I found this letter on the floor of your room. I thought I burned that letter. What is it about this matter? Will you shut up, you little fool? But it is true what they say that. You knew all the time Romagna wasn't guilty and could have said that they'd called on you. So far as I know, they never heard of me. You're a good kid, Miriam, but you've got too much imagination. I wasn't mixed up in any murder. If you hoped I had some criminal romantic past, you'll have to look again. You'll excuse me for not knocking. Guard home, I see. You might not have been here if I made a point of knocking at doors. <coughs> How are you, Truck? I guess you can see how I am. Who's the girl? My sister. Happy to meet you. Step inside a minute. The boy and I have something to talk about. When I say go out, you go. Listen, I'll riddle that door. I just got out, see? And I pay my first call on you. Who started looking this up? You read the papers, you know as much as I do. It wasn't you turning state's evidence? Truck, the case was closed. They burned Romania for it. Why should I look for trouble and maybe get burned myself? Boy, I don't know, but I just thought I'd find out. Besides, who wants to go on trial again, except the papers? You and I won't talk, and unless we did, there's nothing to take to court, as far as I know. Forget the judge. Where's the judge? What judge? Why, read that paper. Judge Gunn's gone off his nut. He's been going around proving to everybody Romania was guilty. Stopping people in the street to prove it. Now, nobody knows where he is. Why don't they know? Because he's on the loose somewhere. They got the police of three cities looking for him. Well, why should that worry you? He's crazy, ain't he? And even if he wasn't, he's arguing on your side. You're jittery, Chief. You got the jitters. 
They'll give you away sometime. Now, don't jump the gun. I've got pockets in my clothes, too. So. All right. Take it easy. Maybe you're lying to me. Maybe you're not. Stay at home for a few days. Sure thing. Why not? When I say stay home, I mean stay home. I have to go looking for you. You stay a long time, whatever I find you. Be seeing you. Killed, you'll know who did it. They'll not get away with killing me. They'll pay for it. Now listen and remember. I was with a gang one time that robbed a payroll. I saw a murder done. And Troc Estrella did it. Remember that. Troc shot the paymaster. If that got out, he'd go to the chair, and so would I. That's why he was here today. Oh, that's not true. That's why you've kept silent. Well, I'm not silent now. I won't sit here forever and look at that door waiting for Troc and his submachine gun. Waiting for the police with a warrant. And what I'm thinking is, Romagna dead for the murder. Dead. While I sit here dying inside. Dead for the thing Trock did while I looked on. And I could have saved him. But I let him die instead of me because I wanted to live. Well, it's no life. It's good. Son, son, you're mad. Someone will hear. Well, let them hear. I've lived with ghosts too long. Oh, son. Be silent. Don't take this last thing from me. There was little to keep even before. But now, my son... Don't worry. I'll be quiet and live. I'll live even like a crawl. you could tell me the name of this street? I guess I know street. There, where the street lamp is. Oh, that? That's the alley. Thank you. It has a name, no doubt. No, it's just the alley. I see. You wonder why I ask, I dare say. I'm, I'm a stranger here. Yes, sir. Radical and a dangerous man. Well, I don't like to say it. No, you're perfectly right, Carr. He was a dangerous man. Think of it. He believed that children shouldn't be forced to go to work. That a man should only work a reasonable number of hours a day. When he was injured, he should have care and medical attention. That if he got too old to work, he should be cared for and not starved to death. Hey, have you gone crazy? Those things are the law. I know. My father died 16 years ago.
the matter, kid? Nothing. Wait a minute. Yes? Sorry. I thought you were someone else. It's all right. Why do you look at me? You're unhappy. Doesn't matter. You're unhappy, too. How did you know? Just looked at you. Can I help? Thank you. In all the miles I've traveled, you're the first to offer me that. I mean it. Who are you? No one. Just the girl you saw among the tenements. Seems as if maybe we've met before. Maybe we'll meet again. advertised city may lie the answer to all my questions. Why don't you forget it, Leo? Said I'd follow the trail to the end. This may be it. You'll only get yourself in trouble. Lay off. I can't lay off. This thing didn't happen to you. It left you your name. It left me one thing only. And that's to be my father's voice crying up out of the earth in the quicklime where they stuck him. Mother, I tell you, these county burials are swift, cheap, run for profit. Out of the house and into the ground, you wife of a dead dog. Wait a minute. There's some Romania spawn left. Something crawls there. Something they call a son. He's them out of town, boys. He's them out. So you're not too gentle or he'll come back. I will go back. Maybe I can sleep then. Or even live. Come in, my daughter. It's a bit cold here. Storm coming. Soon, Father. I'm just waiting. What's his name? Who's next? Why, when we are young and listen for a step, a step should have a name. Do 
Lydia Glyde. See. They're going to get married. Honest. Ain't it the most romantic thing you ever heard? Come on, let's dance. There's no such name as Mio. M-I-O? That's no name. Or Bartolomeo. Well, my mother's name was Miriam, so they called me Miriam. Meaning little Miriam? On little Miriam. Hey, what's the matter with the music, Captain? Not a thing, Admiral. Well, we had a little party going here. No, I'll say you did. Please, officer, we want to dance. Well, go ahead, dance. But we want music. Sorry, I can't help you. There you have it, fellow workers. A perfect example of oppression. In a land where music should be as free as air and the arts should be encouraged, a uniformed minion of the intelligentsia steps in and puts a limit to the innocent enjoyment of the poor. We don't go to the theaters. Why not? We can't afford it. We don't go to nightclubs where the women dance naked and the music drips from saxophones and leaks out from callow crooners. We can't afford that either. But at least we can dance in the river bank to the strains of a battle organ. Bravo! If you ain't making a speech, you're coming down. Please, Mr. Officer, I have my right. You ain't making any speeches. You take your hands off me. Do you want to get run in? For what? I haven't done anything. Just one moment, officer. There is some difference of opinion, even on the bench, as to the elasticity of police power when applied in minor emergencies to preserve civil order. Say, who are you? Sir, I'm not accustomed to answer that question. Come on, get down off your high horse. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm a judge of some standing. Not in your city, it is true. But in another with similar statutes. My name... My name. That's strange. I knew it only a moment ago. I'll think of it again. If Boy, I... you fool, you're crazy. Whatever they may have said or done, let them disperse in peace. It is better that they go softly, lest when they are dead, you see their eyes pleading, and their outstretched hands touch you, fingering cold on your heart. I have been harsher than you. Lay off, I tell you. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, what have I done to be ashamed of? Sit on them. That's right. Tread down the aged and the infirm. Yeah, that's right. You don't have to step on the guy, big boy. What's the matter with you? Gone nuts. I haven't stepped on anybody. 
seems to be an opportunity for an ambitious young man. Wait a minute. Give the badge a chance. He's doing his job, but he gets paid to do the same as any of you. Well, they're all picked men, these Metropolitan Police. They're handpicked for loyalty and a fine, upstanding pair of shoulders on their legs. It's not so easy to represent the law. Think what he does for all of us, stamping out crime. You want to be robbed and murdered in your beds? Hey, what's eating you? He must be a capitalist. That's enough out of you, too, Professor. May I say that I think you've handled the whole situation rather badly from the beginning? You may not. For that remark, I'll be satisfied with nothing less than an unconditional apology. Oh, you want an apology, eh? Well, you'll get one where you don't like it. Come on, get out of my way. Come on, get out of my way here. Come on. Quick. Who's that? It's the judge. Judge Gorn. Get him inside. Let us go inside. This is sleeve that's falling. You will understand, sir. We old men know how softly we must proceed with such things. But I'm telling you, Trot, I saw him with my own eyes. It's the judge. Goofy is a big bug. I guess you thought I meant it about waiting here to meet me. No. I'd forgotten about it till I got that slap of winter across the face. You'd better go in. I'm not your kind. Nobody's kind but my own. Just waiting for this to blow over. Wait a minute. I lied. I meant it. See, I meant it when I said it. There's too much hate in me for any girl to know. What hurts you so, Mio? I'm alone, that's why. I'll go with you. Where? Where you go. You little fool, what made you say that? I don't know. If you have a home, stay in it. If I ask for nothing. I've schooled myself to ask for nothing. I take what I get and get it off. Wherever you go, I go. Oh, Mio, take me with you and let them look for us, but we'll be away. Where? I have no house, no home, no love of life, fear of death. Why do you say that? Miriamne, when I was a child, we climbed to an iron gate, my mother and I, to see my father in prison. He stood in a death cell and he put his hand through the bars and said, My Mio, I have only this to leave you, that I love you and I'll love you after I die. Love me then, Mio, when this hard thing comes on you that you must live a man despised for your father. Lie still and rest, my father. I've not forgotten. When I forget, may I lie blind to see you. What was his name? Your father's name? Bartolomeo Romagna. I'm not ashamed of it. Mio, why are you here? Well, I can't tell you that. No. But there's someone lives here, lives not far. And you mean to see him, you? You mean to ask him? Who told you that? His name is Garth. Were you sent to say this? You must go before you're seen or spoken to. Why? Will you tell me why? As I love you, I... I can't tell you. Miriam! Where will I find you when I want to see you? Never! I'll bring you death! <laughs> to 
go. You're not safe here. Well, what of it? If you slipped away and pick a place somewhere where we could find safe... Using what for money? Why do you suppose I've sat here so long? Would I love my home so much? If I stepped around the corner, it'd be my last corner and my last step. But Brock will come again. And if you're here, he'll find you. Child, we can do nothing. How much more than galling I feel it to ask my way home and where I am. This is New York City. Or oh, oh, part of it. Well, sir, I shall lie under the deepest obligation if you can set an old man on his path. Oh, I'll put you on your way. Only you'll be wiser to wait a while if I'm any judge. It happens I'm the judge. In more ways than one. Can I sleep under the pipes tonight? Can I, please? No, not tonight. There won't be any more nights if I don't get warm. Come in. Come in. They'll be worried. You shall be well rewarded for your kindness. But at the moment, I'm low in funds. Your name, sir? My name is Esdras. And this is my son, Garth. Esdras. wrote some trash about you. I came to tell you it is purely fabrication, lacking fact. It's true I could have called you, but the case was clear. Romania was known guilty, and there was nothing to add. Don't worry, I'll say nothing. Nor any of us. You understand. If there were any just end to be served by speaking out, I'd speak. But there's none. Bear that in mind. We'll be silent. Excuse me, but I'm looking for a man named of Ed. God, Ed. you happen to know him? It's for sure. Down there, in the corner. Thank you. wouldn't knock. May I come in? Yes, sir. What is it you want? It's late. Well, I might say that I was trying to earn my tuition fee by peddling magazines. I could say that. Or collecting old newspapers. Paying cash, highest rate. No questions asked. You've got nothing to sell. Your pardon, gentlemen. See, my business is not of an ordinary kind, and I felt the need of a slight introduction. Well, I might get my bearings. Your name is Esdras, so they tell me. What about it? I'll be quick and brief. 
The man died many years ago for a payroll robbery. You have some knowledge of this crime. And your testimony, if given, would clear him of any share in the murder. You may not know whether he's guilty or not. You may not care, but I do care. I care deeply. I come to ask you face to face. To ask me what? What do you know about it? This man, Roman, did he have a son? Yes. This man, Roman, as you choose to call him, had a son. And I'm that son and proud. Forgive me. If my son can help, he will. But at the moment, we are busy. Tomorrow, yes. if you could. What I have to say won't take long. Tell me in a word what you know. Is it for him or against him? My son knows nothing. I knew a few members of the gang one time up there, and after the murder, they picked me up because I looked like someone that was seen in what they call the murder car. They held me for a while, but they couldn't identify me for the most excellent reason I wasn't there when the thing occurred. That's all I know about it. I wish I could tell you more. The whole story. The whole story. Three thousand miles to this dead. You lie. I won't believe it. My boy, if he was innocent, and you know him so, believe it. And let the others believe if they like. If you mean to say Bartolomeo Romagna was innocent, you're wrong. He was guilty. You lie, whoever you are. My father was murdered. Romagna was found guilty by all due process of law and given his chance to prove his innocence. Well, who are you? How do you know? And I've searched the records through the trial and what came after. And in all that million words, I found not one unprejudiced argument to fix the crime on him. And you yourself, were you unprejudiced? Who are you? My face. It's in a dream. The judge at the trial was younger, but he had your face. Can it be that? Yeah, the jury charge. I sat there as a child. I heard that voice. I watched that mouth. I knew even then that you meant no good to him. Are you Judge Gaunt? I am. Why are you here? Because I am an upright judge and want the truth. I have searched and compared and verified the transcripts of the trial. Without prejudice, no doubt. No, it was never in your mind to prove that you've been right. And conscious of that, too, that that might be my purpose. And still I found no error. I watched all modern comment and saw it centered finally on one fact. Garth Estrus was not called. This is Garth Estrus, and you have heard him. Would his deposition have justified a new trial? It would not. My boy, can it not be, and I ask this quite honestly, that the great injustice was on your side, not on mine? Can it not be true that you, who were touched closest by the tragedy, may not have lost perspective? You think I'm crazy? Is that what you mean to say? Is it not true that wherever you walked, still walking by your side, sleeping only when you sleep, a shadow, not your own, follows, praying and holding out his hands to be delivered from shame? How you know that? I don't know. Because one specter haunted you and me haunts you still. But for me, it's laid at rest now that my mind is satisfied. He died justly and not by error. You know that you've come near to death, that there's murder in me? There was murder in your father. It is to be expected. Yeah. You'd like to have me kill you. I would prove your case. But you won't get that from me. You go home and die in your bed. My boy, I have read some things your father said. And you are a man fortunate in your father. 
whatever the, the verdict of the world. Come, Judge. You better be going. I'll lend you my coat. A little rain shouldn't matter to me. It freezes as it falls, and you have a long way to go. Thank you. I'll manage. Sleep here too. We'll have a whole row of you under the pipes. You're going to thank me for keeping you out of this. I've seen men get that way before, thinking they had to plug a couple of guys and send a few more to cover it up, and then maybe a dozen more. You can't swell all the witnesses because every man you put away has got friends. I said all right. I said fine. You know, they're going to find that judge. And if they find him dead, it's just going to be too bad. And I don't want to know anything about it, and you don't either. You all through? Sure, I'm through. All right. We are through, too, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We are through. I heard that before, and afterwards somebody died. Is that what you mean? You can go. Sure, I'll go. But maybe you don't mind if I find out what you've got on you. Before I turn my back, I'd like to know. Not that I distrust you, but uh, you know how it is. So long, Clark. So long. I won't talk. You can be sure of that. I know you won't. How did you get here? I live here. My name is Esther. Garth is my brother. The walls are thin. I heard what was said. Going? This is no place for me. What place could be better? I don't know. Isn't it better to go, just to go? But they can take away so little. With all their words. It was bad enough that he should have died innocent. If he were guilty, what's my life? I tell you, I've lived by his innocence. I've lived to see that flash and blind them all. Yeah. With truth, I wanted truth. Not the lies you tell yourself or tell a woman. A woman tells you. That judge may have told the truth. I may be mad. You must never believe in me. It's the truth that I believe in you. I love you. You've never said you, you love me. Why wouldn't I love you? I've seen nothing clean or sweet all these years. I love you. I'll leave you that for what good it may do you. Then kiss me. Goodbye, Maria. You won't forget. I won't forget. <laughs> Excuse the interruption. I wouldn't want to cause inconvenience, any of you. Especially the judge. <coughs> Who's all this here? 
Who's that? He's a poor half-wit that sometimes sleeps there. Come out. Come out, whoever you are. What's your name? They mostly call me Oak. What do you know? No, sir. Where are you from? I got a piece of bread. Get out. But it's cold out there. Get out. Who are you? I'm a half-wit, too. The difference is, I got no piece of bread. Another comic, huh? Who's he? His name's Romagna. He's the son. What's he doing here, then? You said you went on the level. You didn't ask him. He just walked in on account of the stuff in the papers. We are together. Now, if we had Shadow, we'd all be here. Who's Shadow? Oh. So now you're putting question. Shadow was just nobody, see? He blew away. It might happen to anyone. Yeah. Anyone at all. Why do you keep your hand in your pocket, friend? Because I'm cold, Mug. Because I've been outside and it's cold as a tomb. There's a car waiting up the street to take the judge home. Oh, wait, truck. He's harmless. That's not necessary. I say it is, eh? I want no hand in it. Anything happens to me happens to you, too, musician. I know that, truck. Keep your mouth out of it, then. You better keep the mug here tonight, just for luck. Come on, judge. We are traveling. It would seem that you and the judge know each other. I've been around. Maybe you met before. Maybe we have. Will you tell me where? How long do you want to live? How long? I got big ideas about that. I thought so. Well, so far I've got nothing against you but your name, see? You keep it that way. Why are they here? And you, the judge, why are you here? 
because you were afraid. And you drew together out of that fear to arrange a story you could tell. This is the thing I've hunted over the earth to find out. I'd be blind if I missed it now. Right on talking. We'll get you far, I guess. Will you see to that? Yes. Me and some others. Maybe I lost my grip there just for a minute. That's all right. Someone who might be here. That's the one I mean. Come on. There he is. What do you think? You should have known him from his pictures. Come along, Judge. You're going home. Thank you. I'm a person of some standing in my own city, but I don't remember. Well, if it isn't Truck Estrella. How are you, Truck? Pretty good, thanks. Here you got out yesterday. That's right. You know, we got orders to watch you pretty close. Be good now, baby, or back you go. Sure. If we find any stiffs on the riverbank, we know who to look for. Look in the other room, then. I accuse that man of murder. Truck Estrella, he's a murderer. Oh, I remember you. What, Mark? Oh, Sarge, the boy's a professional kidder. Took me over about a half an hour ago. Kids the police and then ducks out. Oh, yeah? I'm not kidding now. You'll find a dead man there in the next room. And Estrella killed him. Take a look. Listen, boy. You stood out there and put the booby sign on me and then ran away. Don't try it twice. Any corpses here? No, no. Not that I know of. No, there's no one there. Think up a better one. But if I gotta drag him out here where you can see him? He's kidding, Sarge. If there's a cadaver here, I don't see it. He was in here. Truck shot him and they brought him in here. Sixteen years ago, Truck killed a man. Wait a minute, son. When you make a charge of murder, it's better to have the corpus delicti. He's the kind that puts in fire alarms to see the engine. What have you done with him? I don't know what you mean. What's he talking about? I wish I could tell you. I don't know. You better watch yourself, chump. They're in it together, all of them. Is it you? You've dreamed something, isn't it true? You have dreamed something, but truly there was no one there. Do you want me to say it? Yes. I was dreaming. I was dreaming. I'll say you was. Let's get going. Come along, Judge. And if I hear any more out of you, I'll run you in. Got a coat? Mind your mind. Right, folks. Where's Shadow? In the river. Is he out this time or still butting around? He's dead. That's perfect. Keep the mug here a few minutes, then let him go. I have plans to make. <coughs> Watch up on the bridge head. If he tries to pass, I'll give you a signal. Then shoot. Doc, this ain't my meat. A shot will bring the cops, and there's no way out of this hole. I'll be cornered like a rat. You gotta silence it, ain't you? No cop will be able to hear. The noise won't even carry to the square. Suppose he goes out the other alley. Louie knows him. He needs no identification there. Remember, when I signal, shoot. What signal? Something you can see. Light. Look. A lot of cup and nails. Like this. And shoot to kill. Or you may find yourself swimming beside shadow. <laughs> Climbing up the bridge. You must go now. 
hardly while well, it's still set. You heard what Trout said. He stays here. What do you mean? He means to kill him, you know that? I've no doubt Master Romania can run his own campaign. But he'll be killed. Well, that's his business. No, no, it's mine. Where have you two met? We danced together. And the dance is over, I think. Oh, I've always loved you and I've tried to help you. You've been kind. Don't spoil it now. Spoil it how? I love it. Why did you lie, Miriam? He's my brother, Mio. I couldn't. Give them my brother. No. You couldn't. It had to be you. My sister, whom I love. I didn't know it would happen, but... But we met and... The world's all changed for me. God. You brought this to nothing I wanted to ask. Let him go, God, for me. Go ahead. Go tell your story. Only watch your step. For I warn you, truck's out gunning and you won't walk far. My son, this truck deserves to die. No one defends him. But his crime, this same crime that has dogged you, has dogged us. And if there is lore to go, We'll go there when you've told your story. Remember me. You said you loved me. That he is my brother whom I love. Bright, tyrannical God. What fun they have in heaven. When a man prays hard for any gift, they give it. Then one more to boot that makes it useful. I might have picked some other stranger to dance with. I know. Chosen some other evening to sit outside in the rain. It had to be this. All my life I've wanted only one thing. And now you thrust a girl's face between me and the rights I've sworn the dead shall have of you. You ask too much. Your brother can take his chance. And that plot. Say what I have to say. that I won't go at all. This kind of takes me off my high horse. I was near right than I thought when I said I'd come to a dead end. You must go inside, Mio. No. Oh, I know you don't trust me. And I haven't earned your trust. But I shall call the police and see that you get safely off. When the police come, they'll ask questions. When they're answered, they'll ask more. But before they're done, your son will be implicated. Must he be? Shall not be quiet. I make no truce. Still, I'll go. I could love your father, Miriamne. If you love me, change me from what I am and have been till I learn to live like a man. Teach me how to forgive and forget to hate. He would have forgiven? He. Your father? My 
spot. You may think it's strange. I'd never remember that. But he won't let me pass. He kicked me back three times. I swear I did what I could. He's waiting for you. Child, save yourself if you can. There might be some way up to the house and out across the roof. Come in and let me look. I'll stay here. Once inside, I'm a rat in a dead form. You look for me if you don't mind. Then watch for me. Cornered like a rat? No, thank you. I'll silence you. I'll get you safely through. No, no, you'll tell God. Forget it, Mary Emma. Now I'm not afraid to die. Not if Trot dies, too. I'm tired of hiding out in rat holes. And when I'm gone, you may have a chance. Maybe with him, you'll get some place. He seems determined enough. No! We heard nothing. Strange. I should feel sad and cry, and yet I don't. The shadow hovered over him so long. His death mustn't be in vain. Mio, you must get through. I know. As long as he takes his climb. The jealousy. Can I follow him? Wait. He wanted you to go back. Not to go in. There must be some way out. We can't be cornered here. You go inside. You'll be safe there. Now all you silent powers that make the sleep and rain, but never yet have spoken, give us a sign. Let fall some mercy with the rain. We're two lovers here in the night, and we wish to live. It's Mary Ann there, but they wouldn't listen. Why didn't they answer? They have. They can't escape.
it, young fella. You started something once too often. I warned you about that hurdy-gurdy. Now you're pissed. They heard our prayers, those gods above us. They sent us a sign. Welcome, messenger of the gods. You are the sign. Oh, the kidding's gonna start again, huh? Officer, he's... Oh, arrest me. Take me to a station house. A place where a man can talk out loud. Call out the guard. Get more of his dirty kind. I want a guard of honor on this momentous trip. You're going to get it. Thank you.